now let's jump into this is one of my favorites all right um so well, let's see. 20 years ago the listening little brother the listening dropped oh. their first album and you know um this they blew up on the blogs you know and this is i i you know i we've been talking about 80s hip-hop we talk about different eras of hip-hop but I, the blog era of hip hop is definitely underrated. Some amazing albums that came out during this time that don't get talked about enough because they didn't reach a lot of people. This was when the internet was, you know, it's just full of nerds, really, you know. Uh, and uh, and I mean, I love this album. The listening is amazing. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna get into. We're gonna talk about each track. But uh, like and subscribe if you're a fan of uh, Little Brother like and, and let subscribe. us know what you think of the album in the comments. So uh, oh, first man. off, I want to ask a question. I, you know, you guys tell me when we when we get through this, uh, you know, this rating. But I think this is one of the greatest. This has got to be top fifty album for sure in my book. Yep, yep, yep. I, yep. I mean, I, we I, haven't done a full ranking. <laughs> There's no way that this album made up there for me. Yeah, there's no way you guys could think of 50 albums better than this album. Uh, there's no way I, I don't think I could think of. I mean, 30 albums better than this album. I, I, I this album is amazing. So let's get into right into the track list. So first off, uh, you know it's it starts with, it's a radio show, right? Which is a concept that's been done before, but is uh, you know I think they they executed very well. And it starts out with Groupie Part Two. I always had this question: Where's Groupie Part One? Hey man, <laughs> these dudes. It's it, when you hear them talk about this album, and they had a great interview on Hip Hop DX um, talking about this album and some of the stuff that goes into it. It's like these dudes really was just making it in their dorms and stuff. Yeah, in college, like it's, yeah, they talk like about a hobby. Yeah, and it, and and so yes, that's why Groupie Part One ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about how they, they literally were just making it in their dorm on on mics that they that you would find from like any any like school newsroom type thing like they just had uh you know in the dorm yeah that's it they didn't have a studio or anything like that and it's great um it's but it's interesting to me that they start off the album with a track that's basically a solo poo track and you know you would think that you would start off you know poo is definitely the time, the less experienced rapper, you know, um, the one that people say is not quite as skilled, but they start off the track with, with him, a solo track from him. And I love the energy of the song. I, yep. I, I mean, I love every time the album starts with this song, I'm like, yeah, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. and the beats are great, man. The beats are great. Yeah. The production Just... throughout the whole album is amazing to me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ninth never, ninth never to me. Reach this reach level. these heights again. No, no, I agree. Uh, I agree. As famous as he is, I mean, big hits as he produced and stuff like that, he's never. And um, I and I'll say that this to me is like definition of boom bap. You know, like I mean, you could go to like, other than like you know maybe a gangstar premiere type of thing, but I I don't really I can't think of very many just like straight boom bap albums that are better. I can't really think of any boom bap album better than this. I mean, this I love is the sound, so yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, it, when you tell me, you know, better than this, I don't know. I have to think about it and things like yeah. that. But love this album. So we got a lot of praise for yeah. it. Um, because yeah, because then you got for you coming up next. Yep. And and, and I, Fonte kills that track. That's a great song. Great song. Um, and then they said, uh, I I I was re uh, reading somewhere. They said this was just like uh a like they were just like warming up or like a, a mic check. So I think they just, you know, we're just uh, coming, you know, just spit that verses. Beat though, man, with that church ass, uh, what you call it? What's that thing called? I don't know. That organ? instrument? Organ? Is that what? Yeah, it's that yeah. organ, dude. Yeah. That is, that's mm -hmm. a dope way to make that beat, man. I was yeah. Like, yeah, I love it. And then Speed, their first single, their first track, and it strikes me. Like classic song. Amazing song. Oh, wait. <laughs> The mo and it's so relatable. Everyone can feel. Everyone can you know relate to this. You know, going to work, being on your grind. You know, and, and tired of the treadmill lifestyle. You know, uh, 
it, it, it is amazing. And, you know, everyone can relate to this. this. This is one of the things about little brother that everyone can relate to what they're feeling, no matter what. Um, you know, people talk about, you know, uh, maybe not, not relating to like, you know, the Eminem type, uh, you know, uh, rhetoric or, you know, uh, material people, some people don't like the gangster material, but everyone can relate to little brother material. They're either just talking about normal life stuff or talking to girls, which, you know, again, everyone's related to that. Yep. So, uh, speed. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, then the video was amazing too, man. You see the video? I haven't seen it anytime recently. I don't remember. Man, that yeah. video was so low budget. <laughs> I mean, they're literally like filming it on just the crappiest old school camera on a on a bus around campus and like running through random buildings on campus of their <laughs> of the school that they go to. I mean, it's hilarious, man. I gotta go check it out. I gotta check it out. Yeah, they're hunting. They they they're cops that stop whacking seeds or whatever. It's it's funny. You just gotta watch. <laughs> All right, whatever you say. Fonte spits a verse with no rhymes. Never been done before Classic. or since. It's, it's so a, good. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, uh, and it's dope. The thing is that it all flows. It's not like it's no rhymes. Like there's some whack rappers out there that could barely rhyme, but he, uh, it's it's mind blowing how good this verse is without rhymes. It, the, it only only rhymes at the very end. You know, like. I don't, and yeah, I don't this beat on this song is it's like outer space like <laughs> levels of good like I the sample and the loop and the everything about this out about this song especially whatever you say is it's just it's just so great I don't even know how to like parse the different feats aspects of it it's just amazing that these dudes made this the way that they did when people are putting teams of people together and can't do it right yeah this is uh but they felt they were in a zone like you know how they say basketball player in a zone they hitting every shot this is what this album feels like like their special producer artist pairing when they make an album together that you could just tell they in a zone like alchemist currency like certain people they just they in the zone together yeah this album just felt like that it just flows so naturally the whole thing just sonically sounds good yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, and then again, we were talking about skits, hating skits, but I think they have great skits on this track. Yeah. Make me hot oh, is a great, it's a funny skit, a great song, yeah. great skit. Yeah, it's a funny song. They're cool skits, man, but <laughs> I'm still be better without it. I but like Fonte. Fonte is is funny. So Fonte does this stuff where it's a song but a skit. Uh, and he does mm -hmm. that on their albums, um, and I thought this was funny. Yeah, yeah, um, and you know, and he's singing, and then uh, we had, you know, we had to talk about this, but the the rap and singing thing, I feel like Fonte does not get enough credit. Like, pe other people want to give other people credit for this phenomena, you know, but I feel like Fonte was a big part of this, you know, along with like Zelo or or you know, like there's there's other rappers that don't get credit for for doing this. They want to give it to like I don't know who, who do, people give it to like. Uh, Little Wayne, he would give this credit to um, Kanye for doing all that. Yeah, yeah doing all the 808s. They don't sing 808s. Okay, I guess if you call that singing, <laughs> you know, it's different. <laughs> that came out of what 08, 09, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. is a lot, it's a lot earlier than that. Um, this came out of 03, right? Yes, um, this came out of 03. But just going through these songs, man, like Make Me Hot is it's funny. And then you get to the yo-yo, another one. Great song. That's just, it's so super classic to me that, I mean, I just, I love every aspect of the song. So uh, on, on Quest Love Supreme podcast, on their latest episode, uh, Fonte actually talked about this song because they were talking about coffee houses. And so he talked really? about the inspiration for this verse on, on, on it. I, and I, saw, I saw the yeah. things he said about it. Yeah, and so it, it's uh, very funny, you know, uh, that, and you talked about just how pretentious, you know, people are, and just, I, I, I love the verse, you know, like, yeah, try to battle me with sandals and capris on, come on, dog, you know, <laughs> I, I love yep. it, so, um, and that's one of the things about Fonte, I, I love, they can be funny, and it's relatable, 
But then also, like, when he when he drops bars, it's like, you know, like, he has some the dopest punchlines. And, yeah. like, yeah, it'll just diss you, and it'll be, you know, yeah, dope. Yep. Uh, Shorty on the lookout? What y'all think of that one? I love the beat on it so much. <laughs> I love <Yeah>. the beat. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, nah, it's, just, it's too great. It's too great, man. It's I'm not mad great. at no it. song on here. No, yeah, I, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, um, and then Love Joint Revisited. That's that's a, one of my favorites right here. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else I want to say about that? Uh, I had nothing bad to say, man. Come here, <laughs> song so great. The next song, song so great. great. The next song, so great. fabulous, is so great. So great. Uh, the way you do it is so great. Um, we can talk about wait. So fabulous has the mm-hmm. thing where they do all the different rapper voices, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's fantastic. You know, that's really funny, and they really nail every single one. Mm-hmm. When they do the G rap, they do the uh, the what's the group Uptown Saturday Night? Um, why I can't think of it, man. Uh, classic album Uptown Saturday Night. They got the song. This is it. What Uchini falling from the sky? I don't I, know why I can't think of the name of the group, know. but anyways. They 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 mimic their flow perfectly. Um, they just do all the different rappers' voices. Like it's, it's really funny the way they do them, and they're all just perfectly done. Um, so yeah, that one always stands out to me. And then uh, what you said, you got next is the way you do it. Yeah, I love the beat on that one, man. I love the beat. Yeah. I love every beat on this album, but yeah. I mean, this one is so good, and it, and it's definitely clearly. They, I mean, the little brother, the whole thing is that they, this is the, the Midnight Marauder song. Like, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just so, and Midnight Marauder is one of my favorite albums. Right, right. Um, so to, to give love to Tribe in this type of way is just so well done to me. Yeah, and the thing is, so here's the cool thing is that it's like, they're always inspired by, by, you know, you know, they called themselves Little Brother. You know, they're the Little Brother to some of these other classic groups, but they never feel like they're biting to me. You know, like it's like they're yeah. always, you know, like oh, we could do, you know, we'll do, you know, something like this, or we'll do something like that, or we'll we'll give, you know, homage to this. But it never feels they never like they never just jack the the same sample or somebody and just right redo it. They never just uh, use the same. Uh, you know, court hook. They never just. Right. They don't. You know what I mean? Like, uh, the the. Yeah, I mean, there's n- none of that on this album. It's all feels original. Feels you know new, and you only really like even you were talking about the you know that on the uh, so fabulous the all the different rap. I didn't know that that's what they were doing. You know? Oh yeah, every 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 one is yeah, like. I would uh, never know. They that. keep switching from all these different rappers and groups that that are yeah. I guess influential or, or that they really like. Um, and so, you know, they just do different ones, different times, uh, you know, throughout the, that, that one verse of them. Yeah. When they do, uh, the last part's like Dig Up the Planets, like, I don't trip, yo don't mm-hmm. trip. Like, yeah, so, that yeah. part, I don't, yeah, I, I know. Oh, but like, yeah. there's like, there's like, uh, I don't, I have but to I didn't, I don't know that the, 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 what, what's the one where they do all the, you know, the, you know, all the mouth noises. That's swing, like, that's what's the name. Uh, that's a, not, been, not slick Rick, but written. Dougie Fresh. Oh, okay. See, I didn't, I didn't been know what it was trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. See, I didn't know that. Oh, I, yeah. I was just like, see, it's I, all, it's just doing all... a bunch of different. Nah, it's oh. all different parts. That's, that's Dougie Fresh's thing. He always does that when him and Slick Rick do the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See. Okay. That that's dope. Yeah. That that gives me more appreciation for it. Man. Yeah. I feel I feel dumb that I didn't know that before. Um, but that's why I gotta go back and listen to some I mean, more look, of this old music. I don't think it's it's explicit, but I, I had to look on Genius or something, I guess. But I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, the get then, up uh, is one of my get favorites. Up. The get, get up is I one. Mean, of, I mean, again, the beat is great. This is the only great, one uh, nice thing to do, but it's well, a great a great beat. Yep. Uh, away from me is good. I like away from me. I like it a lot. I don't man. like it as much though. Uh, I like I like it a lot. I mean, you know, write the letter right written to your brother. No, uh, yeah, that was that one that was good. And I, I do I just never listened to this one that much. It's yeah, like I mean, it's not high. Yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. sad. It's, uh, it's and not it comes high. right after the the, the high song. Yeah, the high the yeah. high song. Yeah. 
<laughs> but the, the the this last part of the album is the more laid laid back part. I mean, um, nobody but you uh, is um, probably my least favorite song. Oh, yes, yeah, my yeah. least favorite song in the album. Yeah, for sure. And uh, then night nighttime maneuvers is so cool. is a great home. song. And I like the home oh, yeah. uh, the home skit thing short song. Whatever yeah, yeah, it is. yeah, I don't yeah. even know how to describe it. <laughs> um, but yeah, nighttime maneuvers, of course. That's the that's the Fonte solo track. Yep. And then the listening, I I think is a great great song. Of course. With I mean, uh, I love the the last verse saying nonsense, you know, the whole time. It's it's great, you know. Uh, and then people don't listen to lyrics, you know, and they made a a, a verse extra ridiculous so that people, you know, like would catch your you know catch your attention. So. Yeah. So, so that's overall, a great album. I mean, look, I feel like this. I feel <laughs> about this like y'all feel about like J. Cole or something. Man. I was in college when this album came out. I remember hearing it. Like every lyric on this album, I feel like was exactly what I was doing at that time. Every song mm-hmm. about every girl was something I had dealt with with some girl or something. Like just that month or whatever. Like <laughs> when it came out, it was like, dang. <laughs> I had all of these things in the same six month time span when that album came out. So it was, uh, this album just always gonna sit, sit uh, as one of my favorites. But see, that's interesting. Cause I, okay. So you went off to college and then I remember you left this burnt CD and th- and I listened to this, right? Like, and I was, you know, so I'm, I mean, what, I must've been like 10 years old uh, or something or maybe even less than that. Um, and I'm like, you know, just start, you know, usually I just listen to radio music. I'm just starting to like choose the music I want to listen to. And I, this is one of the CDs I had and I played a lot. I played over and over again. It wasn't cause I, you know, I, I, yeah, like I said, I just put in my CD player. I would play it all. I knew every word I, and, and, and I couldn't relate to the situations. Right. But I just love the music. Like, the, like you said, the production is so great. I love the music. The, the rhymes are great. The flows are great. I love I love every part of it. And then as I've grown up, I've appreciated it more and more and more because then I would actually relate to it, you know? And so this is the, one of the things I feel like this music is timeless in a way, um, you know? And I don't know, you know, if it's, yeah, I just feel like this music is timeless in a way. And then I played this like you know when I was in high school. I played this album for one of my friends who liked hip hop, but he had never heard this album, right? And I mean, and then once he heard it, he was he was like hooked. He was like, "Man, this is amazing!" Especially like the Get Up was one of his favorite songs, you know. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I just think Little Brother does not get the credit that he deserves. Well, I mean, that's, there's multiple reasons for that, and, and we can talk about them as a group if you want to, but. You know, just because when they did have the, this got them the major label deal, it came out on the major, great album. I don't know what the deal was marketing-wise, things like that, but it did not sell well. No, they, they didn't. Up. But but it was, people didn't like the concept of that second album. Oh. And, like, you know, they got banned from BT and stuff like that. Okay, the well, got banned from because BT. the album's about talking bad about BT, but... The, um, they, they, but then they break up, and it's not like they have the opportunity to continue to build on their legacy or anything like that. It, it, they basically in in that premature state, um, and I don't remember all the reasons why, but it just really captures a, a specific moment in time. Uh, you know, to be in college at that time and to know like these dudes is making their music like basically in the room that I was like sleeping in, like I mean, in a, in a crappy dorm room or something. It's like the when you watch the video for Speed, like you see his dude's apartment, <laughs> and I mean his apartment, it just looks, it's just so regular, it's just so, it's just so interesting to know that they made the album like this. Um, like they, I was reading the Hip Hop DX um thing about it and how they filmed, I mean how they made the album cover, mm. and they got a, the dude that that took pictures at different events to get a picture of him. They're really just standing by the window, like if you look, mm-hmm. and the only reason they're standing there because that's the only place they had light. <laughs> you know, oh. <laughs> so and then and then he did it where it was like it made you know it makes it look like a decent album cover but it's just everything about it is just hilarious 
Um, and the fact that they were able to make this type of art in that situation is always part of the thing that makes it stand out to me. I'm I'm excited for I know that they got a, a documentary coming out sometime this year. I'm I'm super excited to to watch it because really yeah 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 they got a documentary that's going to come out this year. They they haven't set a date yet, but uh, but they yeah they they've been fil- they've already filmed it and stuff. So I mean I see see I guess part of the thing is this is how you kind of get people to to look at these these debut albums because think about it like we talked about Jay Z and Reasonable Doubt and how I didn't hear Reasonable Doubt until I heard volume two with hits and you get people to go back and listen to it. Well, this group never had a hit. So where, where you know, yeah, you but no, cause, to cause on a, a mental show definitely had, um, um, I mean, uh, loving it. That, I don't is, know. I don't know. I, it's loving it big, big enough, I, don't, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It's remember, big, remember this, the record label they were on at this time was an ABB record or something. They didn't have a bunch of copies. You couldn't find this in stores. Like, I went to go try to buy this album multiple times when I lived in Miami and had trouble finding it. Like, it was, it was like an issue. So, I mean, they, they couldn't even sell it if they, like, if they, you know, if they wanted to at the time. So, it was, uh, you know, it was a very, very interesting situation with them as a group. Yeah. No, I, I think, I mean, they came in the internet age so early in the internet age. Uh, you know, they kind of launched the blog era rap. I mean, yeah, I mean, like it was on Quest that they, their first songs were posted on Quest Love's website. Okay, play it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I feel like you know they blew up on that. They blew up. Man, on I that. remember being on Okay Player, <laughs> and we would argue, and I would, and I got this. That's where I got the album. You know, that's where I found out about them and stuff. And we, used, I used to be on message boards like the Source message board and stuff. We used to argue about these albums. And I used to argue about this album all the time. Like I said, this was just instant, instant love affair with this album right here when I heard. It. Yeah. So I, my my thing is, I I feel like it's not just a time thing though, you know, because Bryce is saying he's liking it. I liked it, you know, and it's all different at all different, uh, you know, age groups. And I would I would love to, you know, hear what you know the people in the comments, you know, uh, you know, say about it as well. But I I rate this obviously, you know, we've been praising it the whole time. I think it's a perfect ten out of ten. I think it's, uh, I mean. What do you think, Bryson? I was going to say nine. I don't know how I feel about giving out tens, man. If we give out tens. We gave out a ten to a okay. reasonable doubt. Oh, and they had I, thought I, I thought we said nine. Too. Yeah, definitely. No, I like this album better than Reasonable Doubt, 100%. Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, if we, I'll give it a ten because it, withstand the test of time it's still a great album i feel like you could put this on at any moment and any age group i mean not any age group but people growing up in college today you can play this for a new freshman every year and it'll be the same thing so yeah. i i think it's a great album perfect I mean, timeless album yeah i mean there's only like i said one song in here that i'm really not trying to hear most of the time um and so if you're gonna ding it for that that's fine but I, that would only put it to like a 9.95 to me because like this song this album is it's up there with any of my favorite albums I, I love it yeah so that's my thing I think this is uh, you know it should be on every you know top now okay so this is this is another thing I want to talk about because some people say that Minstrel Show is better than this album there are a lot of a lot of like uh, you know just like hip hop you know like you know, uh, discussions where they talk about Minstrel Show more than this one. But I think this is definitely their best album, in my opinion. Minstrel Show is technically probably better. I think there's better raps. I think there's good beats, or just as good beats, or not quite as good beats, but good beats. So I, I see why people might say that. It's definitely a polished, you know, more, more polished product. Um, and the yeah. concept is taken to the next level as far as what they're doing as far as the concept. Yeah, I can't say it's better. I can't say that personally. I'm gonna throw it off. Yeah, I can't personally. I can't see. But I think both of the albums are amazing, and I think, uh, like I said, man, I think, I think. So I I said this. I think uh, Little Brother is a top five hip hop group of all time. I think, uh, yeah, 
I think so. Luke, I don't know so, if they make it me. to the top five. What you gonna say is your top five? Man. Tell me. Well, no, you tell me what. I mean, obviously, Outcast and and Outcast Tribe. Outcast and Tribe is one right. two to me. Um, yeah. And, and whatever order on whatever day, um, and then the Wu got to be up there for their, their two albums. I mean, we talking about Little Brother. I mean, two, we always two. well, no, no. Uh, May the Lord watch is a dope album too, but but um, no, not not to these levels. Not to the same level, but it's, I still think it's great. I think it's I think it's a great album. But um, my <laughs> my point is okay. So if you talk about, I don't, I, I hate I hate putting Wu Tang in, in the. We we've talked about this before, but Wu Tang <laughs> is like that's like comparing them to a label. I I really don't. I hate it. I hate it. But uh, fine. All right, so if okay. I begrudgingly, if you got to put Wu Tang in there too, then fine. That's three people better. All right, that, All three right. groups so better. Then, so now we arguing between. We are the, the uh, little brother over UGK. Yes. Little brother over the Hot Boys. Yes. Little brother. Over Did you say Outcast? The Hot Boys. We already said, said Outcast. Oh yeah, okay. we said. No, I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. We already said Outcast. We already got three. Yeah. So it's battle for four and five, basically. It's little brother. Wait, over no, wait, hold on, hold on. So you got Outcast, Outcast Tribe, 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 Wu-Tang. and Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the three, and then. Is there some? I mean, I I would say my next would Dayla, be Dayla. Soul, over Dayla, yeah, I would I was my next would be Dayla. Yeah, about to say they're not over Dayla. So, and then it'd be Little Brother number five. That's 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 my list to me. If I gotta have Wu Tang, I feel like there's somebody that we missing there. Okay, who we they missing? overrun DMC? I I now okay. We, I love that Run DMC. Album. <laughs> I love that Run DMC album. Um, we gotta go through their whole discography. I love that uh, that album. And uh, you know, the over gangstar. Yes. Ooh, I don't know if I can do that. Ooh, I can. Uh, I can do that. Um, I gotta look. And up then hold on. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing. And if we if we count things like well, Wu Tang, they're great because of all their solo albums too. So if you count all of Fonte's other works, and you you talk about they're not over Public Enemy. Again, if you take all of their other works. Then they are They're not over the roots. No, no, not, I was about to say not the roots. they're not better than the roots. They're not better than the roots. They're not over. Oof. Are they over the Fuji's? No, yes, they are definitely better than the Fuji. Fuji's got one good album. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to go through the list. I forgot about, it. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I couldn't think of the roots. So you got them over Goody Mob, yes. Uh, what about Black Star? I got him over Black Star. Black Star got two albums total. Okay, what about Over Run the Jewels? Uh, I got him over Run the Jewels. I love Run the Jewels, but I got him over Run the Jewels. I don't know about that, man. Run the uh, Jewels okay. don't over I, UGK. I got. I said I oh, got him over UGK, and I, okay, okay, I love Bumby. Okay. But I said they over the lo- yeah, they over the locks. Um, they definitely over the locks as a group. Um, okay, see, Mob I mean, Deep. Yeah, they're, not uh, they're definitely over Mob Deep, man. Come on, <laughs> no, get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Nah, man. Come on. I don't Come know. on. I okay, who, who's, that, who's who, you like? You like so you like Havoc's production better than uh, No, production. I don't. But but Ninth left the group, and Ninth never was as good as this. Okay, so, so what we talking about? Okay, so we talking about on these two albums. Okay, we talking about on these two albums. The the, the Mob okay, but, good albums. So Mob Deep right. has has great albums with great production yes. from many great producers. It's okay. It's mostly a habit, but and Alchemist and other people. Okay. Q-tip, so, other people. but Mob Deep, <laughs> it's infamous Hell on Earth. And Murder Music got a bunch of songs. Murder Music is not. Murder that Music good. is better Come than Little Brother's Third. Oh Best no, album. no, no it, Murder Music yes. is not better than uh, Made the World uh, Watch. Why are you making it's me argue against? Why are you making me argue? Because I want listen. Hey. Murder we music is not little brother better love than made the Lord watch. Yes, and and but we, we it's the haters ball. It's the haters ball. So we were doing too right. much love, and too now much okay. let's get into. Actually, so we have to. So now I gotta hate because yeah, you're going too far. No, I, I'm. This is this you're is going why. Too far. I, no, this is why. I, I mean, listen, I'm again. I'm Are they over the clips? Yes, they over the clips. Yes, easily. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wrong, dog. I don't know. Dog. <laughs> yes. I don't know, man. <laughs> Definitely better. Listen, okay. This is the thing with all those groups. Nah, man, they might be a top ten group, but they're not top five. Nah, Too many nah. groups out of name. You, you got them over Public Enemy and shit, though. Like, nah, bro. I don't. I can't okay. Do that. 
Public Enemy. You don't have them. Is is a, a great, amazing. Okay, takes the nation of millions. They got a, a great catalog. Great catalog. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I really got nothing bad to say about Public Enemy. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. All right. There's. This is the thing when we talk we about already, groups, already got five. When we talk about groups. All right? I'm about to say you have I at think, least four. Already. I don't even count the the uh, groups that is one rapper and and you know a producer. Their group. That I don't count. Know. I don't really count that. that. That's a group, dog. Come on, man. Yeah. You change the rules now. I'm not. I'm not trying to change the rules. I just don't. I that it is a group. It is a group. But then, then of course, then, then they're, of course they're not top because then you got people like Eric B and Rakim, or you know, I, you know, I, 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 I just saying in that regard. I, I mean, Gangstar is a little different than yeah. that, and they have a much more extensive catalog. Yes, yes. So, but that's what I'm saying. I don't really count. Like I said, I don't really count the the one rapper, one uh, producer groups. Okay. Okay. I'm when I'm, I'm talking about like uh, maybe I should have said like rapper duos that that maybe, maybe that's a better better um thing I should have said that's what I should say okay. rapper duos then they're definitely top five rapper in that. duos don't count is what they're you're not saying over, they're, not, they're not top five even with the duos so let's hold on let's go back we got Outkast yes tribe the tribe called Quest yes and you're putting little brother there uh, I I got no you and, said Dela Dela's not a duo. Saw. Oh, so now okay. we're saying not right. three. Okay, okay. so rapper okay. duos, That's they might be top five, I guess. <laughs> right. I mean, but okay, but yes, all right, let's find. But, but having raps, Mob Deep is still open to him. Ha exactly, I, and having the day are not better, man. Mob Deep is not better. Mom D's not, a, the not roots, the competition. So that's anyway. Okay, the, root, the, roots, the roots. Okay, so that's no, five. that still puts them five. It's it's Tri, uh, Oak Outcast, Dela, um, uh, uh what was it? The roots and then yeah, the root. little brother. Yeah. That's number Public five. Enemy. Public enemy number. One. That, Flavor Flav is not a rapper, man. Come on. Flavor Flav has solo songs, so don't do that. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> don't so do don't that. Do that. <laughs> See, now you disrespect. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not disrespecting Flav up in here, man. All right, okay. I go find a clock to put around my neck. <laughs> We're not gonna sit up here and talk bad about Flav. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just yeah, I NWA is that. not on there. Uh, I don't NWA? think NWA is on. I don't think. I think NWA has a great album. And I was just about to say one, 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 one good album. Yeah. Um, yeah. One great album. Roots, man. Yeah. Or, or they, they better than. Uh, they, they better than. Uh, I don't know. I think there's more people, man. I think. I think we missing some people, man. No, man, you're not missing people. Little brother. What about is... our main source. What about main source? I not the little brother's better. They not overrun the truth. I don't think they overrun the jewels. I, I think they are. I think they are. You, I think they are, man. Run the jewels uh, two that's, and see, you're three me, are amazing. You making me vote against my college self. Like my college self wants to fight me now. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Run, run the, the jewels two and three are great, but and run one, the jewels one is better than Little Brother Third Best Album. No, it's not better than May the Lord Watch. You you underrated. We ought to re-listen to May the Lord Watch because you underrated uh, one. And then number two, this is the thing that people don't talk about enough about blog era, this era of rap. Mixtapes. Little Brother has a ton of mixtapes that ton. you discounted. They have, like two. they have three, but they... Okay, yeah, so that's okay. not a ton. So, right. That's not but a ton But those mixtapes are, <laughs> those mix tapes are dope, though. Hold all on. Right. They uh, are dope. They yeah. are dope. I agree, but... See now you making me pick over like Black Moon and Helter Skelter. I like Helter uh, Skelter, but I'm I'm picking I'm picking Little Brother. I'm picking Little uh, Brother. man, I don't like that, dog. I don't like those. Nobody's right got now. better punchlines than Fonte. What? Nobody got more emotional bars than Havoc. I mean, than uh, than Prodigy. Yes, it's, there are people with more emotional don't bars hate than on Prodigy. Prodigy man. <laughs> the, yeah, the Prodigy hate is unacceptable, man. <laughs> I'm gonna send a bunch of dudes with Timberlands after you, man. <laughs> Unlaced Tim's gonna kick you in the kneecap. Yeah, they're not top five, man. They're not top five in any of these categories. As much as I love Blue yeah, Brother, man. Just no, they're one, they're number top one top in, in relatability. Okay. What does that mean? That doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, what does it mean? It does. It, does. it definitely it does. doesn't matter. It doesn't it definitely matter. Matters. It does. It, 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 it's cool it matters, to have, but, but it's, it's not, not number one. Like, okay, you're you're more relatable than Mob Deep. That's not making you better than Mob Deep. Yes, well, okay, that's not. I don't need that to make better than Mob Deep. I'm sorry, the music's just you better do. than Mob Deep. No, it's not. It is. It's the not. rapping's better than Mob Deep. 
How about okay, that? Maybe. How about the the rapping is better? The beats are better. They're better. The, the <laughs> rapping is better. The beats are better only on one album. Dog, you're you're really. I don't think the listen. I, mean, I don't put uh, what's it called, Mitchell Show. Is that I don't a, think Mitchell Show is better than uh, than uh, what's Hell on it? Earth. Well, I mean, you. I'm saying I think the listen is better than Infamous. And I would say Mental Show is better than Hell on Earth. It's like that. It's I don't like know that. if I can agree with that, man. I don't. I have to go back and listen to the Infamous again, but I don't think that's true. Um, I might have to do the. I might have to listen in higher, uh, but I don't think if I listen to all of my deep, I, I have to say that they probably over uh, Little Brother, man. All right. Um, and I then have to go back and listen to. I mean, when we argue, we argue in top five. We I pushed them out of the top five. I had to hate. Okay. Okay. Because you just you sleep on the roots. You tried to put the roots out. I know, no, I love the roots. I love the roots. You tried to get you tried to get Flav out of here. Disrespecting right. the legend. Mm-hmm. You, you <laughs> found a way to disqualify Wu Tang for some reason. Um and duos, then now you talking man, about duos. And, and run DMC don't get no credit because what? I don't know. I don't I don't know. Uh, no, I I, run DMC is great. Run DMC is great. Man, you discounted the ghetto boys. Why you don't like Bushwick Bill? You know what I'm no, that's the three the, uh, people, small, but yeah, person. okay, no, that's, that's not right, man. That's not ghetto right, boys, man. I'm sorry, ghetto Rest boys are not as good as, as Little Brother. All right, I'm sorry, hey, you you speaking, you speaking reckless. <laughs> All right, and I'm not speaking Big reckless. Time is no, 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 here's the thing. Hold on, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Big, Big time. time is definitely that. Here's Big the thing. Is... You get name so many people, game? you name so many people from didn't you come out at your wedding to a big time or song? No, you didn't come out to Little Brother. I no, I didn't either. Yes, you're right. I, I, I mean, I don't know what song you wanted me to come out to, but I came out to Kanye that, actually. Oh, okay. I thought you had that song. I thought you had what you call a play at some point. The Ultralight Bean was was. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I thought I thought uh I thought what you call him was playing uh Gator Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. If I would have thought about it, I would have came out. Yeah, but um, what about uh, okay? So the everyone you named though is from the '80s and '90s. This is my issue. All right, okay. one of my issues with with hip hop. And now we've been listening to some old music. I love some of these old artists, you know, and old uh, this old music. You know, I love Run DMC. You know, uh, I think that's stuff's super classic. But I feel like in hip hop, it's like you know we praise the 80s and 90s people and then we won't let anyone from the 2000s move past them and it's like it's like there's just a roadblock they can't move up the ladder because the 80s and 90s people are are just too great in our in our minds well but, i disagree i mean i tried to give like run the jewels I, I tried to put run the jewels in there and you, you said no um but i, I think there's some other uh, groups or duos that were pretty great um, you know, I just think that Little Brother's run was short and it was supernova hot or whatever to me and then to the other people of the of the age and at that era and there's other people I put over them. I, I might have Capone Noriega over them. Um I'm a big i I'm a big Noriega fan. The Anybody War could, Report you know, The War Report and the reunion album was good, man. The reunion album's great. Okay, but so you you're know. not you're not giving any credit to the Little Brothers reunion album though. No, I'm I'm not dis- I'm not discrediting it. I'm just saying there's other groups that I might you know might have a high man. Bryson he he like the city girls more than little brother. Um, so you know that's the thing. Like I don't know man. I don't okay. know how. All right, that's I'll settle for. I'm we had to argue this out. We had to, we had to do some kind of way to to to, mop, to to put a number on it and to to figure it out in some kind of way that was not just my personal feelings about. <laughs> where I was at when the listening came out because I hate to argue with this little brother. Like, I feel wrong and dirty. I got to take a shower right now. <laughs> All right. What, what about then? What Because what, I also think Fonte is underrated as a solo artist, too. I mean, no, I, I agree. I, I have, yeah. So, I mean, he's in my top five personally, but, you know. I love Fonte. Um, I wish his output was bigger. I wish he had more of an output. Um, I wish he did some things that got him a little more attention, but. I can't hate on anything he does. I'm a fan. I know his R and B stuff gets more uh, critical love. And I think didn't he get a Grammy nomination for the for the yeah. R and B song? So I mean I know that that's something different for him than uh but yeah, I mean, you know, I love Little Brother. I can't like I said, this era when they start came when they came out, 
no, nothing really top this as far as me feeling like I was into it, like right there on the ground level. I know, like super hype. Like I was in the hype team on the internet, you know, message board to message board, talking about how great little brother is, how the Mitchell show about to be the greatest thing ever, how they all about to go just to triple platinum and how it's just going to be the greatest thing. They're going to take over the game, Justice League, and, you know, all this type of crap. And most of the dudes just League suck. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> but I was all into it, man. I was all into it. Yeah. Fonte is definitely the best rapper out of the, out of the crew for me. Uh, so, all right. Well, uh, like I said, let us know what you think in the comments. I, I, I mean, I may be completely wrong. I, I expect to get some hate in the comments. And nah, uh, I'd love to see the arguments for yeah. this one, man, because this is this yeah. is great. Yeah, yeah, but uh, 